Hey guys, it's Katie here. Long time no see. I'm still all about cosmetics, beauty, and aesthetic. And a uh, quick update I still feel a little bit under the weather, so excuse my voice, uh, though not a COVID, just a cold. Um, and a few weeks ago, I've done my eyelash lift, and it was so bad. Uh, so after that, I cannot use any mascara, and my eyelashes are still a little bit like all over the place. I also renewed my eyebrow microblading, though I still need to get touch-up done a little bit later. So within the last two months, I've purchased quite a few things that I would like to share with you, and some of them I really, really love, or like my old favorites. And uh, yeah, so today, let's get into a makeup haul. Let's get started. Uh, guys, this is the second time that I'm recording the video because first time I tried in another place and the light was really bad. So you can already see some eyeshadows going on here, but I will still make swatches on my hand and show it to you all, so don't worry. So first thing I would like to start with is one of my favorite sunscreens of all times from Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. Broad Spectrum Sunscreen, PA++++, Water and Sweat Resistant 40 minutes. But this one is empty, so I've bought a new one. Guys, this one is so good. It's a gel type. It looks like this. And it soaks in your skin really quickly, leaving a nice velvety, velvety finish, non-sticky. And guys, it's also a really nice makeup base. It works as a primer, it lasts, um, it helps uh, last your makeup longer. And I really recommend this one for any skin type, any skin tone. Uh, it works um, during the hot season, cold season, humid, dry, anytime. It's just super nice. Next, guys, I would like to talk about one of my favorite cushions of all times are your pear air cushion my one looks gross i've almost run out of it but let me show you this one is basically your skin but better it lasts the whole day and well well i received a new one right it lasts the whole day it makes your skin really nice soft moisture um, and inside of the box i'm using the shade 21 vanilla you get a compact with a refill inside and a refill one more extra refill in the box which is really nice though guys they do not have dark shades they only have got like four shades here and the next one guys is this one from RCMA Makeup Premier Liquid Foundation Cruelty Free and Vegan Paraben Free Talc Free Gluten Free Made in USA and my one in the shade G230 guys the thing is that I've ordered, I've ordered it back in August to September last year and I've received only two months ago and I've been waiting to show it to you so it looks like this I haven't tried it yet it's not that runny and I believe a little goes a long way oh wow it looks like your skin but better though it gives you a full coverage yeah this shade is a little bit dark for me maybe I can use it in winter oh in summer see it's a little bit dark I'm not sure maybe it will be fine if we'll use along with the powder but so far it looks so good I think I will do a full review on this RCMA makeup foundation yeah pretty excited okay guys I wiped it off and now I would like to talk about one of my favorite bronzers from too cool for too cool for school art class uh, this is my previous one and I'm almost ran out of it and I really like this one because it stays the whole day so I purchased two other colors because they didn't have my color and um, to be honest like I do not see any number in it just you know the package is different 
Hmm. Whatever. So this one is lighter. Every bronzer has a makeup brush in the set. And I really like the makeup brush because you can use it actually as a uh, contouring brush or you can pinch it and use it as the nose contouring brush as well, which that is what I do. So this one, or oh, this is a cool tone. So I think these two colors together would be perfect to use as a nose contouring or eyeshadows. And the next one is this one. It also comes with a brush and it's still lighter than my previous one. Let's take a look at the color. Oh, this is a warm tone. So I think these two colors or all together are perfect to use as a contouring shade, especially in summer. So cannot wait to try these ones. Next guys, I've got a few eyeshadow items and the first one is from the Sam, Samuel Shadow Box 04 Glint Beam is my one. And I really love the packaging, it's so nice. Uh, so I just love glitter eyeshadows. So I've already used it for a few times and let me swatch it for you. First color, then glitter glitter stays the whole day actually guys and i've used it today on this eye then this color and the last one and the last one is this one i use it on this eye today Guys, I really like this one because it also stays the whole day and when glitter it doesn't fall off, which I really impressed with. Guys, and another thing is this glitter eyeliner from Urban Decay Heavy Metal. And my one is in the shade Grind. I love this one. It's so beautiful. I already use it here under my eye. It looks like this. I love glitter, as you can tell. <laughs> And it's so beautiful. I hope you can tell because we do not have sun today. But this one, guys, it makes your eyes open, pop. Like, I don't know, I love to put glitter underneath my eyes. It looks like really, I don't know, fresh. And talking about the eyes, I've got one mascara. My friend gave it to me and I actually used it before I've got my poor experience with eyelash lifting. So this one is from Maybelline New York Hyper Curl Waterproof 01 Mascara. And guys, I really like that this mascara lasts the whole day, doesn't smudge, doesn't move around. And I love the wand. It doesn't clump your eyelashes. So if you're looking for good mascara, I highly recommend this one. And the last but not least, is this one pumping lip gloss uh guys this is actually not set i just ordered four of them so they just like gave it to me in the box but i love these ones that's why i ordered two it just makes your lips plump moistured and it lasts for quite a while and it also is you know it's not greasy and sticky and i love the glitter that it gives so here we go, like a nice sheer gloss with lots of glittery, sh shiny sparkles. Oh, this one in the, is in the shade Dominic. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so next one is this one and the shade Celeste. Wow, smells so good. I love the fine glitter in it like those sparkles wow beautiful and i really like the smell of it and the last but not least is this one in the shade sugar and the sugar smells like caramel popcorn wow it smells so beautiful i want to try i haven't tried this two on my lips so i think i would like to try i would like to try this one from celeste 
because guys I'm wearing only a uh, lip liner so oh, oh guys it looks beautiful mm. oh and it gives you a little bit of a tinglish sensation which the sheer one <clears throat> this one doesn't give you any like sensation like you know tingly sensations but wow this one does well guys that was it thank you so much for watching my video i highly appreciate especially these few friends of mine <laughs> special shout out to you love you so much so see you next time guys bye bye mm -hmm.